we'll just begin by taking a nice long slow deep breath in through the nose and then letting it go out the mouth and again nice long slow deep breath in through the nose and letting it go out the mouth and once more just like that nice long slow deep breath in through the nose and letting it go out the mouth your shoulders soften your body relax your face relax and if you haven't already just floating your eyes closed landing in this space Just feeling your body start to land, start to soften. Feeling where your body is in connection with the chair that you're sitting on. Just noticing but not attaching where you can feel your clothing touching your body. Again, just noticing but not attaching. Just bringing your conscious awareness to the sensations that are occurring in your body. And we'll begin by just balancing our breath with coherent breathing, just to bring the body into harmony. We'll do that by simply Breathing in for a count of five, and then breathing out for a count of five. We'll do that together for a few rounds. So let's begin by breathing in through both nostrils for one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling five, four, three, two. Again, breathing into the belly, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhaling, five, four, to stop, so we're just inhaling for five, and exhaling for five, keep going, in the 
the direction of more peace, more calm, more serenity. Just noticing what you notice. Meditation really is the game of just noticing what we notice. It's an attention game. So with this meditation today, our intention is to quiet the noise, the chatter in our mind, our thinking minds, have 80,000 thoughts a day. Our intention is just simply to quiet the noise just for now. intention is to calm the waves, the fluctuations in our minds, calming the waves and bringing in calm, still waters, stilling the waters, so much so that we can see through the water, crystal clear to the bottom the riverbed, the ocean bed. Just calming those waves, those ripples. And our intention is to clean the windows of our perception. how we perceive the world is through the lenses of our perception, lenses of our beliefs, of what we believe to be true, the lens of who we believe ourselves to be and who we believe others to be. And knowing that we sit at the center of our own universe with that unique perspective, with that unique relative truth of how we see the world, how we understand the world, how we understand our place in it. So our intention with this meditation is to just take the time and clean the windows of our perception such that we may see out clearly uninhibited and uninhibited that we may see the truth Sitting in this communion with ourself, knowing that our self is made up of three parts, knowing that we are the body, but knowing also that we are the soul, and that we are also spirit, divine consciousness. This is our true triune nature, spirit, soul, and body. So just taking a moment to honor each of those parts, just repeating silently in your mind, I honor my body, I love my body, I respect my body. I 
honor my soul. I respect my soul. I love my soul. I honor my spirit. I love my spirit. I respect my spirit. Assist, assist us in bringing ourselves even more into our bodies, just giving our mini minds, our monkey brains, a chance to rest, to quiet that chatter. We'll just bring our awareness into our beautiful bodies by focusing our attention on the energy centers or the chakras that exist in our body. There are seven energy centers in the body, right from the base of our spine and the root, all the way up to our crown at the top of our head. So we'll just bring our attention to each of these energy centers, each by turn, Just bring our awareness into our bodies, into our feeling body, and just noticing what we notice. No attachment, no expectation. Just using our focused attention as the vehicle for our mind, our cosmic mind. So just beginning with the root chakra, Muladhara, which is at the base of your spine. So just imagining, thinking or feeling a vibrant color red swirling in this space. And maybe as you breathe in, imagining this energy center almost like a swirl of color, an orb in this area of effervescent light, just imagining this orb growing in size every time you inhale, like when you're blowing on the embers of a fire, this living, breathing energy center that is the energy of I am. It is the place where we are connected to the earth, where we receive energy from Mother Gaia, from Mother Earth, from Pachamama. It's our point of connection, our point of groundedness, of rootedness. So just thinking, imagining or feeling that vibrant color red. And just noticing what you notice. And then moving your awareness now slightly up from the base of your spine, now to your sacral chakra, your Svadhisthana, which is just below your belly button. In this area, thinking, imagining or feeling a vibrant color orange swirling in this space, glowing with each breath as you inhale and exhale, almost imagining that your breath is threading in and out of this space. Imagining that you're almost able to see from this space, bringing your sense of sight, your sense of self down from maybe behind your eyes, bringing it down into this sacral chakra. So just breathing in and out of this space and just noticing what you notice, because this is the chakra, the energy, the archetype of I feel. 
What do you feel? What emotions do you feel? Not making any wrong, just noticing what emotions are present for you, knowing that emotions are the raw materials for our insights and our expansion. Thanks for that insight and knowing that we've received what we need to receive. Moving your attention now up to where the rib cage meets the torso, above your belly button, the site of your solar plexus, your Manipura. This is your inner sun center. So think, imagine, or feel a vibrant color yellow swirling in this space with each breath. is your inner fire, your drive, and the archetype of I can, I must, I will. This is your motivation center. This is the fire where you can transmute and dissolve any resistance, where you can stoke the fire of determination, motivation. So whenever you're looking for motivation, come to this center, call upon your Manipura, your solar plexus, maybe even just placing a hand on that space, above your belly button, below your rib cage, and with each breath, just imagining this glowing energy, pulsing, growing, dissolving any obstacles, just like how you would dissolve and transmute wood or coal onto a fire. This energy cannot be destroyed, it can only be transformed. So just offering any points of resistance up to your fire and allowing it to be transformed into something new. It's the fuel that you need to drive you forward. what you notice, giving thanks knowing that you've received any downloads or insights that you needed to receive, and then slowly, lovingly, bringing your attention and your awareness now to your heart center in the center of your chest. This is your Anahata Chakra heart center. So just thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant color green tinged with pink. Pink is the higher frequencies coming down from above, and the green is the frequencies coming up from below. Meeting in this central space. So just thinking, imagining, or feeling that vibrant color green touches of pink at the edge as you breathe in and out, maybe even holding one hand on your heart space, breathing in and out from your heart, imagining your point of I, as in your point of self, now residing in your heart space, as if you were able to look out from your heart, what would you see? And just breathing into the archetype of this chakra is the archetype of I love, unconditional love and passion. So just feel this vibration, this frequency of love emanating from your heart space, growing with each breath, expanding out beyond your own aura, beyond your body space filling the room that you're in, extending out beyond your borders, feeling this green and pink light now touching everything you can imagine, including people you love, people you don't know, and especially the people who challenge you, because they are you and you are them, we are one. We are all connected. 
So just sending out love. Love is your true identity. Love is your true frequency. Just returning to that truth, knowing that life is meant to feel good. And you get to cultivate this feeling within you. You are your own renewable energy source of love. And the extent to which you feel it is the extent to which you open yourself up to receive and to give, opening up your channels of love such that it may flow freely and abundantly. We often protect the heart. What we don't realize is that our heart is our greatest protector when we just open the floodgates and allow our love to flow. just giving thanks, knowing that whatever needed to be received or given has been done in the divine mind, moving your awareness and your attention now, bringing it up to your throat space, your Vishuddha chakra, your fifth chakra, and just thinking, imagining or feeling a vibrant color blue swirling in this space. This is the energy center of your fullest, truest, authentic expression of communication, where your divine intelligence and your divine creativity, your heart's desires is communicated with the world. Just noticing what you notice, noticing any sensations, any thoughts, any insights that come to you Bring your awareness into this space. Does it feel choked? Does it feel open? Does it feel light? Does it feel heavy? We can often stifle our own creativity and our own communication and it gets blocked and stuck in this chakra. So just noticing what you notice. Breathing into that space. Really just noticing how freely the energy moves in any of these chakras. This archetype in this chakra here is the energy of I speak. How freely do you speak? Do you speak your truth with ease? What do you hold back? Not making either right or wrong, just noticing. Just being aware. And giving thanks, knowing that whatever we were supposed to receive or download has been received. Moving our attention, our awareness, up to our third eye, which is in the center of our forehead, in between our eyebrows, and just above the eyebrow line. This is the sixth chakra, the Ajna chakra. So just thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant color, violet, or purple, a dark purple, swirling in this space. Feeling this third eye opening up and imagining, if you will, feeling this purple light beaming in through your third eye, beaming right into the center of your brain, the center of your head. that the archetype and the energy of our Ajna is the energy of I see. So this is seeing beyond sight a knowing beyond knowing, a hearing beyond sound. These are your powers of intuition, 
that we all possess. So just opening yourself up to receive through your third eye. Into this wonderful instrument. Noticing what you notice. Maybe visions are coming to you in each of these centers. Maybe words, pictures, images, sensations. Maybe even memories. Maybe nothing. Maybe colors, maybe textures, maybe smells. Maybe nothing. All of it is perfect knowing that your experience is perfect, whole and complete, no matter what it is. And just giving thanks for what you have received in this chakra. Moving your attention to your crown at the top of your head, the Sahasrara chakra, thousand petaled lotus. And in this space, just thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant white or gold. Beaming in this space, beaming down from the universe, receiving into your crown. Feeling now as this golden white light is received into your crown. You can feel that light. traveling down through all of your chakras as you receive it into your third eye, into your throat, into your heart, into your solar plexus, into your sacral, all the way down into your root and that golden light now from your root extends down into Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, Pachamama, into the heart of the earth. And feel as that energy is now bounced back up to you from the heart of the earth, received into your root, travels up from your root to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, and back up to your crown, and back up into the universe. Just feeling this free flowing movement of energy from the universe to you and to the earth and back again. Grounding yourself into this present moment. Recognizing unity, recognizing oneness, recognizing pure potential, knowing that you are unlimited. Knowing that we are all connected. We are all individual fractals and manifestations of the one mind, manifested in form. But we transcend these labels of human names, of jobs, of roles. We are so much more than that. We are divine beings having a human experience. So just tune into that now, just for a moment. Experience your divinity in this moment. Just feel that energy flowing through you. Enjoy it. Enjoy this truth.
beautiful moment just recognizing the truth that we can create our experiences and our realities through our, the power of our mind, knowing that this state of bliss is available to us at all times, it lives and resides within us, and that we have the power to create our reality with our thoughts, with our beliefs, and with our actions, that we are first cause that our outer world is simply a reflection of our inner thinking, our inner beliefs and perceptions. As we close this meditation today, just take with you this centering thought in each and every moment. So just repeating silently in your mind, I create my reality with every thought, belief, and action. I create my reality with every thought, every belief, and every action. starting to deepen your breath, slowly bringing your awareness back into this now moment, in this human world, and we'll seal this beautiful meditation by chanting OM, the hymn of the universe, so that we too can vibrate at the same frequency as the earth. So I just invite you to take a nice deep breath in and reaching your arms out to the sides and up and overhead. Bringing your right palm to meet your left and then bringing them down through the center line, coming to rest at your heart space, resting your thumbs into your clavicle and just pointing your fingers away slightly and bowing your head. And we'll firstly begin by giving gratitude and thanks Gratitude and thanks, first of all, to ourselves, our higher selves, the ones that brought us here, the one that is connected to all that is. Secondly, giving thanks to each and every person on this call, either in this live moment now or in a future now moment. The light in me recognizes the light in you. We are one. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Om Shanti, Shanti Om. Peace, peace, peace. And then lastly, giving thanks and appreciation for the Ascended Masters who've gone before us, who have shared these teachings such that we too may experience that which is auspicious, that we may come back to the truth of who and what we are and expand and awaken in our lifetime. Knowing that as we expand and awaken, we rise and heal the collective. Together we rise. So let's seal this meditation by chanting Om. So first of all, just taking a nice deep breath in and letting that go. And now taking a nice long, slow, deep breath in for Om and making sure to allow equal space for the O and the Om, the two syllables in Om. So breathing in for Om. vibrations to settle, releasing your hands down to your lap, and then ever so gently, whenever you wish and in your own time, just on an exhale, gently floating your eyes open to return back into this physical reality, 
and as you do so before you move before you start to think just look around the space that you are in and just cultivate a quality the quality that you had in that meditation bring it with you into this waking state as you sit there now just looking around the room drinking in your environment and just like how when you step out of a swimming pool you bring a bit of that pool with you so just turning your life into a walking meditation and bringing with you some of the qualities of that meditation the peace the calm the serenity the connectedness the groundedness maybe the clarity And then as you're coming back to yourself, maybe grabbing a piece of paper and a pen and perhaps noting down anything that came to you during that meditation, perhaps a download, a message from your higher self, your cosmic consciousness, something that came to you through one of the chakras, a word, a feeling, something that you don't wish to forget. So just taking a moment to make a note of that. And then whenever you feel ready, turning your cameras back on so we can come back together to share our experiences and ask any questions. Thank you for meditating with me.